Greetings guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Monette and this is my channel Evolve with Monette. For those of you that are new here, I am a professional intuitive empath and today we're going to get right into it. All hail the queen. So yes, we just had a coronation that happened and that was beautiful. I hope you guys watched and I'd love to know what you think. But we're going to be talking about another queen, the go a global queen. Um, and I am so proud. This is a client of mine who I have been working with. Uh, and we met maybe about a year and a half ago or so. And we did some coaching uh, regarding narcissistic dynamics and, and that. And so I was walking her through understanding some of the things that will happen with our families as she was dealing with a narcissistic family member that actually went on to take her through some legal situations as well. So we were walking through that. And this is a young woman. And you guys have heard me talk about her or refer to her before if you're uh, a part of this channel and this community. And her name is Natalie. Well, the other day she reached out to me. And she sent me an article that was written up, which I will be linking in my community page for you guys to go and read. It is in French, but you can translate it, or I'll try to put it up translated, but you may have to retranslate it when you click on it. Um, she is Haitian, and she is Miss Global Haiti. And she is now in competition to be like Miss Phoenix Rising or something, a competition that will be happening around her birthday. She's a Scorpionic energy, Scorpio, Scorp Scorpio woman, and she is just beautiful. I always say that she is uh, one of Naomi's children. She is absolutely melanated magic and grace and when I was reading the article that she sent me you know I was so proud of her there was a part in it where she said you know there isn't much that I don't try that I'm not good at and I said you better tell them about the truth of you and uh, the truth of you as a West Indian woman too and so that's something that we related to as we did our work as well and it was so beautiful and I shed a few tears when I read the article because I was so proud of the story arc because I know where she was at a year and a half ago when we began to work together and I also know where she is at now. Now that is not because of my constant pushing. We had a few sessions. However, her graciousness that she is, she, uh, when I called her because, you know, that's the kind of thing that you can't give a text back and I said, Natalie, I am so proud of you, beautiful. And she was so proud of herself that she has this crown and that she's done this thing she's a pageant girly right so she's part of that world but global 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 we love that we love it miss global haiti it's just beautiful and and correct me if i'm saying it wrong down in the comments please natalie but what I want you to understand that she said to me that really touched me, she said, you know, last year when I reached out to you, I was really down bad. And we were talking about various subject matters, right? Not just family, but I'll leave it at that. But uh, she was like, I was just really down bad. Things were not going the way that I wanted them to go. And she said, even to reach out to a YouTuber and somebody, like, you had to know. She's like, you may not know, but that was me down bad. And no offense taken whatsoever because I totally get it. These parasocial relationships are a little tricky to navigate so I was like nope I understand girl I totally get it <laughs> and um and so she was like I want to thank you because before we talked I didn't really understand about my angels and I didn't understand how all of this works and now she says to me I know that my angels are real I know that the spirit world is like working on my behalf and she was even talking to me about the trajectory of the crown that she will be competing for and how the the pageant was even pushed back it was supposed to be a bit earlier but it's going to be in her birthday month which is about transformation and new opportunities and endings of an old life and the beginning of a new the death card is represented by Scorpio and so literally in her birthday season she's going to be doing this competition and the crown that she's competing for has to do with a phoenix rising she was like i now i'm starting to understand spiritual language and the way that this all plays out and that i am part of something greater and that my work and the things that i say out of my mouth and the good that i try to do in my community is not just for not it's not just about me being pretty but pretty she is beautiful she is actually in poise and i'm so proud of her in her 20s having this poise and having these opportunities but yeah when we talked last year she wasn't in 
in that headspace. And so that's the power of a little coaching for sure. But let me tell you something, the more power goes 1000% to her because she pulled herself up by her metaphysical bootstraps. She continued to compete in the face of adversity and hate and narcissistic family dynamics. She protected herself. She extricated herself out of relationships that were not good for her mental health. And she's now a powerhouse. So it's so funny to me, the people that she may have dated or that there may have been any friction with or that hating family member now has to say to the queen, all hail, to the global queen, the queen of the country that they're from. Uh, we love to see it. So anyway, please go check out that article. I'm so proud of you, Natalie. If you are watching, and I know you are, because we've already, she will watch this before any of you guys do. But Natalie, I am so bloody proud of you, sis. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. I am grateful for the nice words you said to me. And I'm so grateful that you trusted your instincts to reach out to me. But above and beyond, I'm grateful that you set yourself free and that you listened to yourself and you competed you continue to compete not just for a crown but for your sanity for anybody listening here sometimes it's the best we can do maybe pageant girly is not the thing that is for you maybe it's environmentalist maybe it is speaker maybe you want to run a daycare in your community maybe you want to do a toy drive or work at the soup kitchen maybe you want to hand out money like jimmy darts i love him um whatever your calling is whatever your way is that you offer energy to the world, please know that you will come up against the adversity and things may seem absurd and people may seem ridiculous and you will not understand why you're getting the hate you're getting and you may not know why things are going the way they're going or aren't going the way you feel like they should. But please know if you are an empath watching this, you have a calling for good, whether it is your art, Symbola Designs, go check out that gorgeous creature who's also could be a model herself in my mind, um, whether it is your art, whether it is your communication, whether whether it is your life or whatever your station, you will come up against some adversity empath. And you may need to reach out to someone and say, I need help, whether it's me or not. But what I love is when I see so many of my collective like thriving and doing well. Sky, I think of you. Rain, you're pushing through. Mr. Chalk Chalk, I see you too. Miss Laura, I see you too. Belinda out of Texas, I see you too. There are moments in our life where we have to pick up ourselves and push through. But today I'm speaking to my sweet, beautiful Naomi S. We can't compare because listen, you're blazing your own path and that is completely fair. Yes, we have inspirations, but if you go look at this beautiful sister, she is doing her own thing and she will be reaching the nations. What she will do is continue to climb and I'm praying and knowing and holding space for her that divine intervention will take place and one day we're going to say we knew her when because she is now Miss whatever she wants to be of maybe even our very own country here in America. Oh, I love a good trajectory. I love a good story arc. I love a comeback story. So from her saying I was down bad last year to being crowned Miss Global everywhere, <laughs> Miss Global Haiti. Oh my gosh. We love to see it. We love to see that black girl magic, but we love to see that empath tenacity even more, no matter what color you are here watching today or what ethnicity or what challenges may come your way, there's one thing we all have in common is we are kindred spirits. I see you out there working and doing the best that you can, sweet Miss Jacqueline, everybody. You guys are doing the best you can with your friends and family in your homeland, from your homelands to this homeland, whatever it may be. That empath, divine, angelic, cosmic guided energy is so magic and it's something that sets people around you free. Just by her standing in her poise with her back erect and her crown sitting, sitting. The crown sitting, it's so funny, I just made another video and the crown fell right off my head, but it was very in par with the video. With her crown sitting, this crown is not moving, okay? We have anchored it in. And that's the same thing I speak over you, Natalie, my sweet, sweet empath friend. You are anchored in. Your journey is just beginning. I love that you're confident in the work and the service that you are giving. I love the write-up about you in this magazine. It was, it's, I felt like a proud auntie. You know, I felt like a proud auntie. I was in San Tropez in my mind. I wasn't really. But I was in San Tropez in my mind, and I was like, oh, look at my little sweet niece, crown global Miss Haiti. Yes, but of course, 
this is the natural trajectory of someone who's doing their internal work. So while it may not be a crown for you, empath watching, there may be something else for you to do, something for else for you to write, something for you to share, a way that you can offer your energy to the world because the world will care. And people that didn't think that you could do it will have to sit back and stare. And that's my favorite part for all of the haters and all of those people that gave my sweetheart, Natalie, all of that trouble last year. Look at them now. They're hanging from outside the club, Natalie. They can't even get in. There is no crown for them. Ah, God bless you, sweet girl. Anyway, check out that article and uh, give her some congratulations uh, from down bad to her own coronation. We love to see it. All right, guys, come back and join me next time. And we will continue to be crowned queens sitting pretty and kings, Mr. Shock Shop and kings, <laughs> and evolve together.